Alright guys, happy Wednesday. Is that is it that is correct? Wednesday. It is it Wednesday. Is Wednesday. Yeah, I hope everyone is feeling okay. If not, good news, uh, today is not too aggressive. Today is a little bit of upper body, a little bit of gymnastic skill, and some midline work. So we have a 15-minute workout today. That is it. Every three minutes or 15 minutes, that means we're doing a total of five rounds. You're gonna be responsible for 12 handstand push-ups, then 18 toes to bar then a 25 foot handstand walk. Uh, so we have a couple of different paths that we can take today. One, if you're a gangster on all these movements, do them fast and try to get it done as quickly as possible each round. For everybody else, normal humans, uh, we are going to treat this as a skill session, right? Every three minutes, doing three different movements. So for a lot of us, you can almost treat this as an EMOM. Minute number one, working on handstand push-ups or some sort of strict overhead press with your dumbbells or kettlebells. Minute number two, practicing toes to bar or the one, two, three, down and up on the ground. And then during that third minute, you can practice your handstand walking, kicking up to the wall, uh, practicing freestanding, kicking up, uh, just something that's gonna make you a little bit better at your handstand skills for the day, all right? Uh, any big level questions from my friends on the Zoom land? No. Cool. Sarah, how do you feel today? A little jacked up. A little jacked up. Good. That is why today is programmed the way that it is, because I had a feeling that we would feel kind of jacked up after the last couple of days, especially everyone who did uh, yesterday's barbell workout, or even the home version. Uh, your legs probably feel not so bueno. So let's go ahead and start off nice and easy with our Michael Phelps shoulder opener here. So we're going to hinge the hip, get a nice stretch of the hamstrings. You're just going to give yourself some nice hugs here. That's it guys, remember to breathe here, alternating arms up and over. Hug yourself. Everyone give me a couple more reps here, make sure you're evened out. Three, two, one, stand up tall. Next up, some shoulder circles, so up and over the head. Try to make a little diamond sign overhead, crack that back and continue to reach up and over. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, and let's switch directions, bring it forward. Same thing here, guys. Make sure you're not overextending that back. Keep everything facing forward, please. Give me one more. And relax. All right, next, guys, we're going to go into a little pike inchworm here. So for these guys, remember, whenever we're doing anything on our hands, we want to rotate our wrist to the outside and then squeeze a pencil in between our shoulder blades to keep that tension on our upper back. So from here, I'm going to slightly bend my knees. I'm going to walk, 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 walk. And I'm going to scoot my feet up towards my face and continue to walk, 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 walk. All right? I want everyone to give me three going forward and then three going backward. Cool? Three, two, one. Inchworm it out. Let's go. So we're walking. 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 And scooting up. Also, Luca, I think I can still hear you. Please mute yourself if you don't mind. Thank you, sir. Hello. Scoot that booty up and just twerking. <laughs> and on the way back, you're loading up those shoulders, then scooting the legs back. Just start to feel a little bit of time under tension fatigue here, which is good. And when you're done with that third one, stand it on up. Shake out those arms, too. I got a little spicy. All right, next up. Meet me on the floor, lay down on your back. All right, we're gonna do our trampoline method warm up here. You guys know the deal, Sarah's gonna demo. Imagining you're holding onto a bar above your head, you're going to chamber your knees and then kick overhead. Kick, chamber, kick, nice and fast. Everyone give me eight repetitions of that. Kick, chamber, kick, nice and fast. Go, go, go. That's it, beautiful. All right. If you have an apparatus to do toes to bar or toes to rings, I want you to hop up. Just give me five repetitions. If you do not have that apparatus, our scale today, remember, is our one, two, three up downs. I'll demo that, Sarah. I got it. I got it. You can hop one up. All right. So remember, guys, for these, feet are up in the air. We're going to reach one, two, three, down and up. So whatever you are doing today, just give me five repetitions, por favor. Let's 
get a little more heat on those shoulders. Let's go into a pike push-up position. So remember guys, for this one, booty's gonna go up in the air, keeping that same locked out elbow position. Looking behind you, lower that head down and press out of it. Remember, if you can't do that, we can do a kipping pike push-up using our knees. Once again, keeping those elbows close to the body. So drop the knees down, lower the head all the way down, then kick and push that hat all the way through. Everyone should always finish with your elbows by your ears, just like this. Right, everyone give me five repetitions, go. Always finishing elbows locked out by the ears, looking behind you at all times. There's nothing for you on the floor, there's nothing for you in front of you. Look behind you, get those elbows locked out by the ears every time. All right, Kill. All right, next up, let's just practice kicking up a little bit. So we're gonna do some free standing alternating kickups. Wake up those hamstrings a little bit more. Get that same locked out position. Gonna do a little step, kick up. Let that foot float for a second if you feel comfortable. Then do the same thing on the other side. This is another practice that you can do today instead of handstand walking if you wanna work on that, getting comfortable kicking up, all right? Everyone just give me eight total. Right left is two, right left is four, right? So give me eight reps total, go for it. So kick up, try to point that toe where you want to go. Try to get some hang time if you feel comfortable. Remember guys, that back foot, you want it pointing like a scorpion, all right? Or like this, not like that. Flick the wrist, flick the toe, flick the toe. Point your toe where you want to go. Nice guys, there you go, Megan. Nice, Sarah, good, good. Nice, Alex. Very good, very good. Cool. All right. All right, guys. Cool, and the last thing I'm gonna have everybody do, if you're doing handstand push-ups, just flip upside down, give me three reps. If you're doing a single arm overhead press, just give me three reps on your right arm, three reps on your left arm. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing, kid? Yeah. I'm not gonna do any, because I'm very lazy. <laughs> So. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right. Lazy is all a matter of perspective. All right. Cool. Sarah's out of frame here. Oh. There she is. Cool. All right. So, before we get the party started, does anyone in Zoomerland? have any questions, comments, concerns about the workout. So remember, it's every three minutes, we're doing 12 handstand push-ups. If you don't have handstand push-ups, we're doing 12 single arm press on the right, 12 single arm press on your left. You may do a push press if you need to. After that, doing 18 toes to bar, or one, two, three, down and up, and then finishing off with a 25 foot handstand walk, or about 45 to 50 seconds worth of handstand practice. You may also, if you just want to do some grunt work, just do three wall walks up and down that wall. All right? Everybody good? And there, no, I have one question. Yes. Like, the scaled version, uh -huh. uh, it's going to take longer than three minutes. I don't think so. Uh, I mean, okay. Um, I mean, try it. I don't know that it will, but you. But if it takes you longer than three minutes, we can scale the reps down. Like, are you thinking that doing 12 reps per side is going to take you a long time? Yeah, if, so so if you are not physically able to complete the work in under three minutes, I think that everyone should try to do it as written at home. So the 12 on the one side, 12 on the other side. If you find that you're not physically able to complete it in 12 or three minutes every time, just drop the rep scheme down, okay? Uh, treat it like an email pretty much. If you're not done with your single arm overhead press within the first minute, just move on to your one, two, three up downs. But ideally, we should be able to finish everything each of these individual components in one minute each, scaling your reps and your volume as needed. So maybe you're doing eight per side instead of 12 per side. Um, maybe if you don't wanna do your dumbbell, you could just do 12 really quality pike push-ups instead. That will take you a little bit less time, all right? Cool, and once again, if, you don't, if you're not able to finish under the three minute cap, you probably are getting stronger. Cool, as Meg would say. All right guys, uh, well, let's get that clock fired up. It's in my pocket. It's in your pocket. Woo! All right. Cool. Okay. Oh, and a word to the wise on this one. 
We're doing five total rounds, right? That means you're doing a total of 60 handstand push-ups and like 80 toes to bar, right? That's a lot of them. So think about not your first set, but think about your, it's actually 90 toes to bar. Uh, think about your, your last set, not your first set. So don't be a hero and come out and try to do everything unbroken unless you're a true gangster. Handstand push-ups might be better off doing two to four at a time instead of trying to do all of them unbroken and quickly. I'm gonna do it strict and see how long that lasts. Uh, yeah. Uh, if I die, if I, if I die, I don't think I'll die. All right. All right. You good? Uh, yeah. Pigtails are ready. Let's say yes. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Body armor on. Yeah. All right. Everybody, we're going in. Ten American seconds. Twelve, eighteen, and then twenty-five foot handstand lock. Five, four, three. guys.
Go chin. One minute, 45 seconds in, guys. Let's go. Alright guys, we are two minutes in. We have one minute to finish off this round. You'll go on to your wall watch if you're not there already.
45 in. Let's get through those abs. Start to get ready for those handstand walking or wall walks. All right, guys, we're at the two minute mark. Let's get to those wall walks. Nice bag. Let's go, Alex. Let's go, Angela. Move on to your wall walk. This athletes, come on. Okay, we got 30 seconds. Last round. Coming up. Come on, man. You guys go. Let's go. All right. Give you guys a show here for the final round. Woo. All right, guys. 15 seconds. Get over that final round. Then. Luca, come on, Alex. Let's go, Chen. Nice, Megan. Let's go, guys. One minute, 45 seconds in. Let's get through those abs. Get ready to get upside down. Keep it up, guys. Come on. All right, guys. We're in that final minute. Let's go. Get upside down. Got one minute to win it here. Let's go. Come on, guys. Finish strong. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Sarah. Come on, girl. There we go. Come on, girl. Let's go. Right back up. Right back up. Come on, athletes. Nice, Megan. We got 45 seconds to finish, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Nice, Chan. 40 seconds. Yeah, Meg, point those toes. That's it, girl. Nice job. Let's go, guys. We have 30 seconds left for the day. Come on. Come on, athletes. Keep working. You have 20 seconds left. Let's go. 15, keep working guys, keep working. 10, almost home friends. Finish strong here. Five, four, three, two, and that's a workout. All right guys, awesome job. Yay, we did it, all right guys. Find some space on the floor. Let's get mobile. Woo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh -huh. All right guys, item one. Let's go ahead and sit on your butts, sit on the booties. Let's go ahead and hit those shoulders. You know the deal. Palms on the ground, oops, behind you. Slide forward until you can slide forward. No moss, let's go. Feel my stretch in the shoulders. Oh yeah. Woo. So guys, just breathe here. Woo. All right, shift your legs to the right. Feel that left pec and shoulder doing stuff and things. 
And let's hit the other side. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And relaxy, paxy. Uh, let's go ahead and hit those forearms next. So tabletop position. Let's get one elbow down, other knee on top. Work your way from the elbow down to the wrist, clenching and unclenching that bottom fist. To get a little bit deeper in there. If you're sweaty, the knee should slide right down that leg. Oh yeah. And switch. Let's hit that other side. Three, two, one. Do it. Nice guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that feels nice. You got it, guys. Let's get one more rep here. Slide down that forearm. And, oh, yeah, relax. All right, guys, from here, let's go into Cobra. Stretch out that midline. 90 toes to ball. Or one, two, three, up, downs. Gonna feel that one in a couple days. Woo. And shift to your right side. Get a nice stretch of that oblique. And other side. And let's walk it back into child's pose with your palms facing upward. Try to get your butt onto your ankles and just hang out here. And relax, sit on up onto the ankles. Let's get right arm over the head. Let's hit the lat and the tricep and breathe. And switch. And relax. All right, guys, let's finish it off down to the bottom of the squat. One quick stripper deadlift. Pay a small bill today. Slap the floor, slow roll it up, feel those ham bones, stand and reach. All right, guys, let's finish it off. Right hand down, left hand up, reaching for the sky eye. And switch. And switch. And last time, switch. Both hands go up. Three, two, one. Arriba. Woo! Awesome job, everybody. Way to work, guys. We'll see you guys uh, in a couple days. Bye. All right, guys. Awesome work. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Great to see you, Alex. Great to see you, man. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. You too, guys. Bye, bye. Bye, Fredericks and Dad. Bye.